Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here at Southland RV. Excited to bring you the 2025 Navigate by Intech RV. Now, I'll have all the specifications as well as my contact information down below. Uh, like, comment, and share out this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, and if there's a particular video you'd like me to do on a product, let me know. Even if it's a how-to video, be more than happy to try to oblige you. So, but let's get started. So, as I mentioned, I'll have all the specs and so forth down below. Now, this is the Navigate. This is more of an adventure series. Benefit with this one, this is very similar to the Octa Willow. Uh, and I'll show you when we get inside what we're talking about. It has a lot of the same features on the outside. The difference is in the way it's shaped in the front here. I like how they put the uh, the bottles, the LP bottles, they get nice hidden out of the way. Aluminum frame construction. Folks, don't believe people that tell you that other ones are aluminum frame. If you do not see this being aluminum, it's not aluminum frame construction. That's steel. This one does have aluminum for the frame, as well as the walls, the floor, the roof, everything on this is aluminum for the framing. And the, uh, whether it's the frame or the framing for the walls, ceilings, everything. So then they're using metal. Now I'll link a video down below that I did when I was at the factory showing you what this thing looks like from the beginning to the end. So if you have, give you a better insight as far as how this is built. Uh, so you can have your outside uh, cooktop here. You know, it'll have the top that goes on there, your refrigerator, freezer, the LP connections right there. Has a nice little table that sits here. Then this is a little water, so you can hook up a hose. So if you need to rinse things off, 110 outlets down under here, makes it nice. So if you have something you want to set here or even up in this area, you can. This has some nice little blue lights in it, as you can see. So you can hang some utensils in here if you wanted to, set some spices and so forth in there. Look at how big this awning is. Let me get out of the sun there. Let's go on this side here. Notice this is what they call a legless awning. It does not have, as you can see here, see how this has the legs coming down the side walls? This does not have those legs anymore, okay? It just has the arms up in the awning itself. This one is three. And you can see how far that comes out. That's about eight feet. Also in the back, you're gonna have um, a little storage here. And then you have another little storage bin down in the front over here. This will have on-demand water heater. You have AC. You've got additional outlets here. So you got four outlets where most campers just give you two. And look at the other lights you have up top here. So, you know, you have the lights there, plus you have the lights all in the awning. I like that because I typically would shut those off when the bugs are out in the season and just have the lights out on the end. But let's get inside, let's talk about this. So typically on the Okta, you're going to be walking in towards the front and the dinette booth is up front. Now we're walking in the back. So you have the windows across the back here. First thing I'm going to start with is these lights. So you see how it's a bright light, right? But so you can turn it on blue, but if you push and hold it, then that's a reading light. You can have it as a reading light if you wanted to. Little hangers here, 110 outlet, and then of course your USB ports right there. They'll have it there. It's gonna have it on the other end there by the counter. Nice counter space. You can put this table down if you wanted to. Get it out of the way. And of course, these things they do, it's a magnetically held in place. So good storage there. TV pulls out and swivels. Take a look at your kitchen. And by the way, the awning itself, all I gotta do is bring it in, push it in, and see, it's just gonna come in by itself. I don't have to sit there and mess with it. Same thing with it going out. Stereo set up here, you check your levels, your water heater. Look at how big that sink is. Good size sink. Two burner cooktop. Make sure, see it doesn't bend forward here, right? You got, and it tells you right here what you need to do. As you're rotating it, lift up on that and do not cook on top of that. It will, it will break. A little storage up underneath both of these. So like I say, this has a lot of the same features that you'll see in the Octa. But a little more adventurous. Nice good sized drawers, notice it's soft clothes. Get this nice little pantry here. 
This is where you have your this is where your disconnect is at, and then your breakers and fuses. But look at how deep that is. Now, also in the Intec brand, the Octa Willow and the Navigate are the only ones that gives you a separate toilet room with a nice big mirror and the separate shower. In all the other ones you're looking at, you're going to be getting just the, what they call the wet bath. So it would be the shower and toilet all in one. Power vent fan. See how they... Now this is a little bit different here. See how they have these. I believe in the willow, I believe it's, it's straight across. So it's a little bit different, but still the same concept with the queen bed. You can get the twin bed if you want. Nice thing with this is you can lift this and look at all that interior storage that you have under there. That's very nice from that standpoint. Their mattresses are a little better than most. Still probably want to get yourself some type of uh, foam topper. Uh, pocket door. I say pocket door. More of a, let me go look, get over here. More of like a barn door style. The AC is ducted, so when this door is closed, it's coming through this duct up here. And it'll also blow up in the front that way. So, But the control is back here. So you're going to control the temperature, what's in here. Reading lights again. Little blue lights, if you will. And then, of course, you have this stargazing window. So as you're laying here on the bed, you're able to look out up at the sky if you wanted to. So kind of a neat little, uh, little difference in this versus the Octa. Notice that the heat duct is not on the floor because it's off the floor. So this is the 2025 Navigate by Intec. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. But I uh, appreciate you do watching. I appreciate you liking, commenting, sharing it out. And I'll be back at you again shortly. Take care.